myself, where am I at? What have I got to do? Well, then I don't feel close to God anymore. You know why Adam and Eve wasn't in the, in the presence of God? Because the Bible says that sin entered in. And Adam is partook of the thing that uh, God told him not to. And you know what happened? That relationship was broke all into pieces. The Bible says the first man Adam fell, but the second man Adam was made a quick in his spirit. And all the things that Adam broke up, all the things, when everything had fell apart, and it didn't seem like mankind, Brother Bill, could ever be saved. This man Jesus walked over sins. And he came and he gave his life for ransom to nine more sins. Yes, and you know what? He sat down at the right hand of the Father, and will make an intercession with me and you. And he's going to be there until he steps out on the cloud and calls his church home. Right. Anybody who ever believes it, and she's brought her pieces to Jesus that's been broken up in this world, is going to go out here and be the Lord. i got more scripture about it I'm going to share with you. And then I'm going to close. We're going to give an altar call and come down this altar and pray. There was a, there's a scripture in Luke chapter number 15. It's about the prodigal son. And the Bible says there came a day when this prodigal son made his mind that he was going to go into a far country and he was going to go to the big bright city lights. He came to his father and he said, Father, give all the things that's coming my way with all my goods now. All my inheritance, all my money, everything that you got for me, I want it right now. And I want you to give it to me and I want to go. If you know what God will do? He'll let you go if you want to go. If you want to go, we want to turn your back on him if he'll let you go. So he went into a far country, the Bible says, and he spent all of his substance on riotous living. And the Bible says he wasted all of his substance there. And he defiled himself with swine. The Bible says that they become a great family in that land that he lived in. I remember living in that family, but family, Brother Daniel. I remember living there. I'll tell you, when the dope is done, then there's a hardness there, ain't you, brother? When, when the alcohol is just keeping you from being sick, then it ain't fun anymore. When, when one relationship after another one it just turns into something that don't mean anything to you anymore, you remember about the home that you used to have. And they come a famine in that land. I got sick of living in that family one day. And, and the Bible says that he went and joined himself to a citizen of that, of that country there. And he began to have a job feeding swine. And he, lay, he went down to the hog lot with those swine and he would eat the husk if they was eating. And he walked in the marble with the hogs. You know what he had done? He defiled himself. He had stained his name. And he brought reproach upon his father's house back in over because he was a Jewish boy and he was supposed to be there. But you know what he done? The Bible says he came to himself one day. And he said, my father back at home has got more than enough to feed all the servants that he's got. I'm down here starting. So you know what he done? He gathered all these broken pieces up and headed back up the road. You know why I say that? Because he come to his father and he said to his father, I've done all these things. I've spent all my inheritance. I've been down to hog lot. I've been down to this country, in this, in this far country where you warned me about not to go to. I've been down here and done all these things. And now all I've got is just a bunch of broken pieces to bring back home. Father, just make me one of your servants. I'll just live in a certain house. That's all I'll do. But you know what his father done? He said, just forget about all that, son. Just forget about all of it. As far as the east is from the west, so far in my transgression from me to me. And in the depths of the seas, God cast all of my sins. This world may look at me and say, I remember what you used to be, Bill Lee. Who do you think that you are? I've heard people say that to me here lately. Who do you think that you are that you can come and tell me how to I remember what you used to be. I serve a God that will never bring those transgressions against me ever. Not one time. You know what? Blood of Jesus Christ. all sin away. Have I stumbled fail a thousand times flat on my face? Miss God, brother, back a million miles. And look back and cry bitter tears and say, Lord, why could I just listen? But you know what? He said, bring a fatty cat. Bring a ring. Put it on my son's house. Because I don't care how he's our family made through the mother. I'm going to bring him back to the full home. I'm going to bring him back into the house. Where, not the servant's house. I'm going to bring him back in the main house. Amen. Gather up all your broken pieces and bring him to Jesus. You know what? That son coming and he admitted everything that he had done. Amen. Ain't no need to come it up. Every one of us, everybody in here, and everybody outside this building has all seen and come short of the glory of God. You know where the power comes? And when you realize where that you're at, you bring your broken pieces to Jesus, and He gathers them all up for you, and He heals that brokenness, and He heals all the things up that you've been struggling with for years and years and years. 
and he heals all them things that you've been trying to get past. Brother Jerry, there were some things I had to get past before I could ever step on in where God wanted me to step into. There were some things I had to give up. I mean, some things that He dealt with me about. You know what? I've heard people say, well, God dealt with me to give this up and to go and to live this certain way and to dress this certain way. And I don't think that, that was really God. And you know what they done? They went back to Listen, if you told God that you want to give something up for Him and you went back on the Lord, your word is no good. And it's better that you never bow bow to God that you would bow and break that bow. Because right? that'll stick in your mind like glue. And it don't make no difference how much that you try to say that it don't amount to anything. It don't make no difference how much that you try to say that uh, it, it's not nothing and it'll all be all right. I'm going to serve God anyway. You went as far as you're going to go if you can get past that. But if you bring your broken pieces to God, yourself, he'll say, kill the fatty cat. You said, well, Mary Archer. Let's have a part of it. My son that was lost is now found. And he'll find you right back into the house. Stand in God's house. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight, Lord, for passing by our way, God. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing coming, God. Lord, I pray for what you told me to, God. Lift the burden off my shoulders. And I pray, God, Holy Ghost burden. Rest upon this congregation in that Lord. God, the name of that slide in this place tonight, God. Touch somebody's life, Lord, is mixed up and messed up with sin, God, and don't know which way to turn. Help them, God, to gather up all the pieces of bring this all tonight, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, that you're a miracle maker, that you're a miracle mover. Lord, that you can that you can do anything that we can believe you for, Lord. Yes. That you can take our little bit and stretch it along in our ways. But Lord, help us not to follow you for the miracles, but help us to follow you because it's all we love. God moves us out of Jesus' name we pray. Hey, somebody come now. You bat slid on the dog and come. Back in pain, in life's back.